I knew Donald has the most head kick knockouts in UFC history. I was saying to Megan backstage, that's the equivalent of a world title to me. To having a, to having a record like that, the most head kick knockouts. So, but at the same time, and I knew he was planning to knock me out with a head kick. I knew he wanted to, everyone, oh, what if Donald catches the head kick and all this. I knew this was, this was what Donald would have been envisioning and his team. They would have been practicing how to set me up with, with, with the high kicks. Um, but at the same time, I noticed Donald has many, many, uh, many discrepancies in, 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 in leans and dips and cer under certain attacks that can also set him up for the high kick. So the high kick was was something I, I, I thought I could I could catch him with also. His grandmother came in and spoke with you. I'm curious if you could share the details of that conversation. She's just a phenomenal woman, that lady. She's there from the first fight of the night till the final fight of the night. And even after the bout came over and she just showed me respect and I showed her respect. And it was great to, great to meet, great to finally meet her. You know what I mean? You see her, she's a prevalent part of the game, isn't she really? When Don, Donald's fought so much and that lady's there from the start of the night to the finish, man. What a lady and, and what, a, what a man she's raising. Very, very... Very honored to share the cage with Donald and and and, and um, very proud, you know. It's, he's a good man and he's got good people behind him and much respect. Last thing for me, Connor, we had a chance to speak with Dane already. I know there's a lot of options on the table, but he seems to think lightweight title shot is the best move for you going forward. Now you've come out and said, at least I guess to him and, and to publicly, that that fight is not going to happen between Habib and Tony. Um, I'm curious, what kind of deadline you because you'd certainly be in line for the winner. But if you could slide yeah. in, that would be pretty pretty impressive. But is there like a is there yeah. like a deadline? No, I don't th I don't think the hill matters, right? I think okay, the lightweight title will be there, right? That 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 will be there, you know. You see the difference in the f physique, the, the the preparation, and that, and um, that, that that will come back around that that shot. So I'm certainly not gonna if this fight does go ahead, sit out and wait, and then wait for a true true holidays and injuries and all this type of thing that goes with it. So. Um, the hill doesn't matter for me now, it's just, I'm looking at dates now and I know March was there and um, I'm going to have a look at the calendar and see where we're at and um, Lorenzo gets back in from Panama on Tuesday so I'll toast a fine Irish whiskey with Lorenzo, I always look to do that, you know, tradition, I was talking with Dana so he gets back on Tuesday to Vegas so I'll stay here and I'll go for dinner and a toast with Lorenzo and Dana and I'm sure we'll we'll chat about it then and see what's, see what's what so. Um, I'll be ready, you know, I'll have a celebration tonight, I'll chill with my kids tomorrow, I'll show Junior the fight on the telly, see how he reacts to it, see what he thinks of it, and then back to training, you know, when you take, before a fight you taper off for the final two weeks, so if you get a quick win and then you kind of go off, then all of a sudden it can be four weeks without a full training, you know what I mean, without a, without a, without a real training session, and then you're, you slip behind again, so I'm going to make sure not to do that and get a good session in the day after tomorrow and carry on.